the world, it needs you. But it needs the real you. Not the one with the mask looking to blend in. Nor the one making all those concessions to avoid being left out. No, the real you. With your flaws and your insufficiencies, your strengths and your gifts, your hopes and your dreams, it needs the you that so often hides away underneath that blanket of caution and skepticism. The you that's coupled with vulnerability, more easily ignored than brought to life with conviction, but that's the you this world needs. When I was younger, I seemed to separate life into two categories, me in one and everyone else in the other. And guess which of the two categories I assumed had it all figured out. In my mind, I was the one, the only one who didn't know. The one who was winging it, stumbling my way through each and every day. All those other people, though, they not only had plans, they had the right plans. They knew the right details. But I didn't. And so in my head, me being right required I necessarily look to them. I follow their lead. Since there exists an established correct path, that must be where I steer the ship. But then some time passes. You grow older, maybe pick up a little wisdom along the way. And you realize that No one really knows what they're doing. There are very few objectively correct roads that must be traveled. Life is not a paint by number, it's a blank canvas. And understanding this changed the image in my head from one of me knocking on the door of a party everyone else was at to visualizing almost eight billion individual souls running around trying to figure things out in the limited stretch of time they have here on planet Earth. I realized I had at times felt small only because of the gravity I attributed to people who were just trying to figure it out themselves. And the point, certainly not to diminish anyone else's journey, it was to give myself permission to embark upon my own. It's just hard to do that when you view everyone else as one collective, all-knowing entity. As opposed to 8 billion people just like you with thoughts, fears, hopes, and plans. The question is not, what is the right thing to do here? The question is, when will you allow yourself to venture out into the world and find what the right thing means for you? That's what's required. And the world will be better for you having found it. Because after all, no one sees life like you do. No one has the background or worldview. The universe has conspired to put you as you are here now. Almost an impossible occurrence in and of itself. How easy that is to forget. We were born on the summit, yet the inclination for some reason is to keep our eyes closed. No, open them. Take it all in. Allow the view to propel you forward. The world needs you. It needs you with your mistakes that have helped you evolve into the person you could never have been without them. It needs you with your worries and your fears. Conquering them will be pivotal in your evolution. It needs you with your flaws and blemishes. How else would life convince you that the things that make you different 
are the same things that make you strong. It doesn't matter how many people tell you or try to explain to you the magnitude of what's at your feet. Life does not begin until you allow yourself to start living. Until you realize that yesterday does not define you. And the categories in which you've placed yourself, they're transitory. The past is not the reason you can or can't begin again. It's not who you are forever. No, it's the advantage you now possess as you move forward. Should you choose to move forward. It's in realizing you are bound by nothing that you free yourself. And for the one wondering, why does it matter what I think? Why should I start or try or risk anything? Why should I pick up the brush and start painting on that canvas before me? Well, because that step is where it all begins, the meaning, the purpose, it's all predicated upon our willingness to pick that brush up and start painting. You ask, what's the point? The point is everything. One detail at a time, we dismantle our previously held notions about what life is supposed to be and finally start living one that matters. No one's masterpiece will look like yours. No one's depiction of life will follow the same parameters you've etched onto that canvas. In fact, there are people that will be changed forever because you chose to live your life fully. There are lives of those around you that will be transformed because you picked up the brush. There are stories that will now end in triumph because you found the courage to start, to see light in yourself. You being fulfilled and the world being better off, they're not two different things. When you live a life true to yourself, when you let go of the have-tos and step into the get-tos, the world experiences the luxury of the beauty that comes next. When you fill your cup up first, you're able to then replenish those around you. That's not nothing. So who are you? Beneath the characterizations, beneath the roles you've taken on, beneath what you feel you're supposed to be, all that. Who are you and will you give life to that person? Will you be that courageous? After all, that's what life is. It's not a game of right and wrong so much as it's a game of courage. The ones willing to take the leap end up worlds away from where they began. So my ask of you is that you begin tearing down those walls created in your head. The ones that accumulated over days and months and years. The ones that box you in or keep you out, that suggest you are anything other than that one in 400 trillion miracle. Ready to embark upon the ride of a lifetime. And sure, it means shedding the comfort of obscurity, the safety of projection. Looking yourself in the mirror and saying, I am worth it, and there's more out there, means without question you are taking off the training wheels, dancing with vulnerability. But it also means when that time comes, you look back on how you lived your days, you can say, I truly lived. You can say that the world needed me. And I had the courage to heed its call.